But one of the top things on parents' shopping list this holiday season, probably video games. Yeah, it seems kids can't get enough of them. But a watchdog group says some of those games are just too violent for kids. Now, here's some of the top games the National Institute on Media and the Family is warning against. Blitz the League 2, Gears of War 2, and Saints Row 2. Dr. David Walsh is with us this morning to explain this year's video game report card. Good morning. Good morning. Now, your group has been at this for a long time, and you've gotten uh, the video game industry to put better ratings on these games and some retailers to kind of check closely who is buying these. Now you're kind of looking toward parents, right? Exactly. This is the 13th annual video game report card, and one of the things we're pleased about is that the report card has been an effective tool. And this year we acknowledge the... Uh, the, the improvements that the industry has made, you know, the ratings uh, are more complete, they're more accurate, the retailers are doing their job 80% of the time. Room for improvement, yeah. so we gave them a B plus, but they're doing better. Um, the console makers have all now included parental controls in the consoles, so we're, we're really pleased that the industry has stepped up. Now I think the, this year's report card makes a little, little bit of a pivot, and we kind of take a look at ourselves. Yeah, well, for those parents who aren't familiar with some of these games, let's give some examples, like uh, Gears of War 2. Some of yeah. the weapons used in this game are especially of concern. Yeah, exactly. In Gears of War 2, you know, it's it's not just a, it's not just a, a, it's not just a gun, but it's a gun with a chainsaw on the end of it. And so some of the, you know, some of the brutal violence in some of these games is what gives them the M rating. And, you know, parents and grandparents, if, if you see an M, if the industry says it's not appropriate for kids, then, then we can be sure it's not appropriate for kids. A game like Blitz League, you know, um, you know, parent or grandparent might think, well, that's a football game, right? Yeah. Well, it is a football game, but it's not your typical football game. In Blitz, uh, you know, you literally can, you know, target serious injuries, break bones. Which body part you want to injure? Exactly. Is it? Yeah. Uh, drugs, uh, drug use, uh, celebrating the victory with prostitutes. Yeah. Obviously not a game for kids or teenagers. All right, so this uh, video report card is available online, and you do have some games that you recommend for oh, the absolutely. younger people, too. You know, part of what we want to do is let parents know that there are lots of positive alternatives. The, the entire report card and the list is on our website at MediaWise.org. You're seeing some Guitar the, Hero right here. That's one that you recommend. Guitar Hero is one of the ones we recommend. High School Musical... Uh, some of the sports games, FIFA soccer, NBA basketball, NFL football. And so there, there are a lot of good, oh, here, and, you know, the uh, Spider-Man game yeah. is kind of an action game that teens would really find uh, fun, but it doesn't include the brutal violence that those M-rated games have. Uh, your group has really made a difference. Thanks uh, very much for coming in this morning. Thank you. All right, good luck. I do want to let you know that you can read more about the National Institute on Media and the Family online. We do have a link set up at wcco.com slash links. The 2008 video game report card should be on the site later today.